the events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Right, you thought I was only going to do Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 2003. No, 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 no. Watch that, that was on my channel. I hope I uploaded this in order. Ah. This right here, I'm doing all the original locations from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974. One of the greatest horror films of all time. And here we are walking around the gas station. It's featured only a little bit in the beginning of the movie and then at the end. All shot on this property. They've restored it to how it looks back in the day. I'm going to take you around. I'm going to take you inside. It's now a souvenir shop. They do sell barbecue made from cows. Oh, copyright. They're playing Rage Against the Machine. All right. Killing in the name of how appropriate. Watch your step. All right. Let me show you around. So there's soda, but there's, oh, Michael, Michael. A lot of memorabilia here. This is so awesome. Hmm. Hmm. Got everyone. Duck, there's my boy. There's the creeper. Aww, I know you. You're my favorite. I love you. I really, really love you. You can talk. Well, talk. Say something. He's kind of a hack. <laughs> Chucky's kind of a hack. Chucky the hack. There he is. Oh, if you didn't know, oh. Oh, there's yeah. a Freddy Krueger pop, too. Freddy Krueger? Funko Pop, look at that. Where's Chucky? Where's the Chucky pop? Oh, there's not, but look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <laughs> Tour guide. I have appreciated this. Thank you. <laughs> I like this mask, man. How much are we going for? Thirty dollars, not bad. If you want to upgrade? <laughs> oh. yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you, Aiden. So in the film, they drive up right where these gentlemen are standing, and this bucket and this stool was put back here for the film. I mean, for because of the film. You know what I'm saying? So you see this? These aren't the original props, I don't think. But the gas station is here, the pumps are here, the ample's up here. Let's take a look here. In memory of those who went before us. I am, uh, 
So right where these gentlemen are standing is where the pups would have been. On their bikes, ride or die. And if you stop if you stop here, you if you, you're gonna you're gonna live, but if we just ride. Just ride. We're gonna live. <laughs> We're gonna leave before the kids die. <laughs> So actually the pump would have been right here. Pump was set up right here. But if you go around back, look at the van. It's a replica of the van, but it's still cool to see. Wow. You're not going far with those side tires there, Jimbo. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Uh-oh, what's happening in the back? Is it open? Can I open it? No, I'm not gonna open it. Yeah. Are you gonna get pulled over without a license plate, idiot? Very, very cool. Yeah. Now, at the end of the film, Sally, she is running around, coming from the house, in the back of this building. She comes through the brambles, to this doorway, but let's go show you those brambles. I don't know if I'm using the term brambles right. So here we are in the brambles behind the barbecue shop, behind the gas station, and I decided against my better judgment to bring along a friend with me. Usually I like to do these things alone, but he insisted, and there's someone you just don't say no to. Thank you very much. Slow down, slow it down. Keep it down. Let's chill. Okay. You know you're wearing, you know, it's like giving yourself a nickname, dude. You can't wear your own t-shirt. It's like giving yourself your own nickname. That's just not cool. Yeah, I know. All right, so you would have been chasing Sally. Let's flip the camera around. So you were chasing Sally. You remember when you did this? Yeah, we went there. Oh, yeah, you do remember. You have a good memory. That was like, what, 46 years ago? 46 years ago. You look good. So you were chasing her this way. Can you keep up? I know you must be an old man by now. And we came out through the brambles. Did you fall? I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, there you are. Okay. Leatherface needs a walker. All right, come on. Okay, it's not not too close, Leather. LF. See, now I gave you a nickname that works. So you came along here. You were chasing me, Sally. All right, I'm Sally. And I let. Okay. All right. So you came along here. Run, run, Leatherface. Run, run, you son of a bitch. Run. And we went down here. Okay, I'm getting out of breath. Oh my god, you're good. And we went right into this door here. Right here. Do you remember that? Do you remember when you did that? What was your thought process? What were you trying to get out of here? The girl. What are you, if it's a guy, would that matter? Can you kill me right now if you had the opportunity? Let's go to the next location. All right, so here I am, Kingsland, Texas, made it to the house from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm gonna tell you some history about the house when I get inside, because we're going inside. And when I say we, I don't mean just me. Somebody's having a sort of homecoming, you two song. LF, what up, dog? You coming inside? It's been a while, hasn't it? Okay. All right, let's just, okay. Do you, you want to see the inside of your old house? Are you gonna cry a little bit? <laughs> you are. Uh, it's just okay. So me, me and LF, we're gonna go inside, take a look around. We become quite really good friends. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna go inside now. Bit of a dick. Oh. <laughs> the saw is family. Wow. There's the stairs we just came up. Back door where Leatherface like to chill. And look who's around the corner. What are you doing, Grandpa? <laughs> hey, you're, please do not touch. I don't want to touch you. Wake up. Grandpa, wake up. Yeah, you can nibble on my finger like you did in the movie. Didn't you? Isn't that what he was doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. Nothing? No? Oh. Somebody needs to give you a little trim. That's not what I meant. You know what I meant by trim. Okay. So you can see, here's the stairs that I just showed you. She's being chased up, but she would've went right out this window. And obviously other people have tried to jump the window and jump out just like Sally did and land in the backyard. But for safety reasons, because some people may be stupid and try to jump out the window. That would be me. I would try. Why am I whispering? Grandpa, can you hear me? So they moved, this is Kingsland, Texas. And the original house is where, this is the original house, but where it originally stood is about an hour away from here. So they, in 2000, they took apart the house because it was going to be demolished. I'm going to take you to that original location, by the way. But they, demo, they were going to have the house demolished because the area is completely zoned for reconstruction. You're going to see that there's where the original road is, where the original house, this house stood, is all new condos and stuff like that in around. But there's something cool coming. So they dismantled the house, brick by brick by whatever by whatever. However, you build a house. If you told me to build a house, I say okay. I need twenty million dollars and eighty guys, and it's gonna take me one year. I don't know how to build a house. So they took it apart, they brought it here, put it back together, and here it stands. Right, Grandpa? Did I get that right? Mm. See? He agrees. Back down the stairs now, and I'm going to show you the dining room from the movie. Right this way. And now I'm going to show you. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you exactly where Leatherface's door was. A lot of people, when they come here, they think that's the door door was right here in this part right here right here this is where it opens and opens and shuts it it's an open and shut case sorry family we're crazy so if you come here to kingsland to the grand central cafe where they shot tens of years of all inside this whole house that doorway was not where that big door was it was here Oh yeah. <laughs> so this lady here has generously decided that she would like to be a victim of Leatherface. Go get her, Leather. Go get her, LF. <laughs> so sorry about that, LF. You did some. You yeah. You're they're excited because you like this place. You like to make displays. You're very, you know what? With when the sun hits you, you're not that disturbing to look at. You're actually kind of pretty. You're you're a very pretty girl boy. You're very pretty. You seem sweet. That's what just, yeah, like that. You're missing an eyebrow, dude. Hmm. Well, this is coming at Halloween. They actually do the, uh, the film out here. And you can 
Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Every day's Halloween for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next location and see where you did some of your best artwork. Because you're, you're an artist, too. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take that away from you. If you keep it up. Let's go. Wow. That's right. Remember the beginning of the film, the cemetery? Right here. So they set up a fake grave right here. But that's where those bodies were posed and left by the Sawyer family. But you see that clearly in the background, C.C. Mason's grave. And that one right there. Let me show you a little closer. Eighteen sixty five, forty six, almost forty seven. Now, there was another shot in the cemetery, and I believe it was shot down this road near the entrance because that's the original entrance right there that I just showed you where we came in. And that's when the, the police that are investigating the crime, the kids stopped to see if any of their family members' graves were desecrated. And one of the cops takes the girl. I think it was Sally or was it the other girl? I can't remember. Takes her in and says, you don't mind me boring your girl, do you? Say, fella, I'm gonna run off with your girl a minute. You don't mind, do you? Takes her in, they walk along that road right there. As you can see across the street, it's completely different from 1974. It looks a lot different. There's a lot more development out here. I kind of thought, like when I was coming out here, the cemetery's by itself in the middle of nowhere. No, there's... Hotels, CBS, you name it, it's out here. Oh, it's out here. Yeah, this building. Let's go behind it here. Right over here, you're gonna see the original entrance. So of course it was a working cemetery back. I mean, these graves are old, but there are newer ones all throughout the cemetery. But 1974, it would have been a lot less popular. Can you stop that, please? Thank you. Stop it. Sorry. Yeah, he's here. And uh, it was a low-budget film. So I wonder what they even paid to film inside the earth. They even paid if they just... Well, they would have had to set up. So, yeah. But that's why they use a fake grave. I don't think any family member would be too happy with them having, you know, that done on the grave of their family, of their loved one. Right? Would you? No. Yeah, and if you're looking to find this grave when you come out here, just come in the main entrance, through those gates that say Baghdad Cemetery, make a left. You can't miss this. You cannot miss this. I'll take a walk around the grave. That's what it looks like to, oh. Dude, you left it. Oh God, this guy leaves it everywhere. Pick up after yourself, LLF. Come on. All right, so myself and LLF, we are on our way to the final locations. You know where that is, right? You know where we're going, LLF? Mm -hmm. You do. Oh. You do. Very, very smart. I'm gonna say, gently, you look like a moron. Like if I saw you on the street, I would assume you are a moron. No offense, wait, but you're actually very, very, intelligent we just got stopped by the cops and no questions you got you, you don't they, they know you down here they know who you are all right you want to go for a run chase me with the chainsaw to the next location let's go for a run let's do this jesus christ come on i can't run Fuck. So 
as you can see by that long road, that is the original road from the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. And the house would have been right there where I just showed you. Right there behind me. It's all redeveloped. It's a new highway, new buildings. It's a new beginning. The Leatherface lives on right down this street. Let me show you the truck. When <laughs> the truck, that's my favorite part. The trucker, when he gets out of the truck and he's gonna help Sally, <laughs> and then he sees the leather, leather face, he's like, F this man. <laughs> he runs and he's out of it. He boots it. Yeah, because he put up with that. So, right down this road, it's all shot up here. And then right here. Right around this area is where Leatherface gets banged in the head by the truck driver where he throws the, the uh, hammer at him. The hammer at him right here, something at him. Right here. This looks entirely different. This road is still, it's good, it's overgrown and it's apparently it's zoned for something new. So this road and where the house stood will not be here much longer. If you wanna come out here, I don't know. It's hard to find, man. <laughs> Round Rock, Texas. That's where it is. At the end of a long road. And this video is now coming to a close. All right, so from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre film locations from 1974, I want to say thank you to Leatherface. Dude, you're awesome. You're real, you're, you're sweeter than you, you, you seem. You are. Nice guy, nice guy. And you know what? I think it's time for the big reveal. I think what I want is I want you to take the mask off. And I want to see what you look like. You've never taken the mask off for anybody, have you? No, he's saying no, he's saying no. Let me see, take it off. <laughs> Put it on, LF. Put it back on, put it back on. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Wait a minute. And this is Adam from Team Family, the YouTube channel. He doesn't look at all like what you think Leatherface would look like. Look at this guy. Help me out all through Round Rock, all through Austin. Subscribe to his channel, Team Family. He did an amazing job. But I think I want to close this out, it's my turn. I think it's your turn. This is my time. Let's do it. Let's do it.